Hey everybody, I'm here to share with you a story on our series of thankfulness. And I wanted to talk to you today about something that I am thankful for. Of course, we're always thankful for our friends and our family and the roof over our head, the food on our table. But what I'm going to talk about today is something that you might not think to be thankful for. And that's why I think it's pretty special. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about being thankful for the differences in people. The differences in people. What does that mean? Well, I am truly, truly thankful for everything that makes each person unique and special. Sometimes it seems like we just want to be the same as everybody else and blend in, but you are different and you were made that way because that's how God made you and that's what makes you you. So, as I read through my story today, which is Sulway, I want you to think about a time that you might have wished that you could have changed the way that you look. Keep it in mind. Sulway. Sulway was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba was the color of dusk, and Mitch, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Sulway either. People gave her sister Mitch pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Sulway names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Sulway felt hurt every time, so she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Sulway dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find, and she tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt. Then she crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Sulwe decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I'm meant to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, May I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Sulway rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Sulway told Mama everything. Mama said, What is your name? Sulway, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Sulwe whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulwe's stomach the way she always did to comfort her, you are beautiful. Sulwe sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now, up you get and out you go. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother 
sees it. How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Sulway's window. The night sent me, the star said. Come with me. Sulway hopped onto the star, and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day, and they were sisters. There's night and day. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But the day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. So Day set off to see to find night. And she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors, and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night, everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little, not even at all? Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night and every shade in between. Together they make the world we know, light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sulway rose the next morning beaming there would be no more hiding. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. If she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Sulway felt beautiful inside and out. the end. Do you see what I mean now about being thankful for the differences in other people? Maybe you, there's a time where you wished you were taller or had curly hair or you were faster or thinner or bigger or smaller or had freckles or didn't. Maybe you wished you were any other person but who you were. But God made you the way you are for a reason. If we all look the same, it would be like only having the color yellow in our world. It would be like singing the same note for every song. 
God wants us to be a rainbow of colors, and he wants us to be a symphony of notes. And I am so thankful for you, and I pray that you do too. I'm so thankful for you for joining me today, and I want you to remember to always celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people choose to see it or not. Happy Thanksgiving.